It's taken seven years to bring the case to court. For Hussein, it feels like yesterday. We went to the place of the incident. We went to Nasur Square and saw bullets in the square and burned cars. His older brother Mahdi was driving his taxi when guards from the American private security firm known then as Blackwater blocked the street and started shooting. I arrived at the hospital and saw three to four people dead already and many injured. My brother was in very critical condition. He was shot in his lungs. Two years ago, Hussein and other families settled a civil suit out of court. He says after paying almost one-third of the settlement in legal fees, each family received about $230,000. He said he wanted to see the men hang. They walk around freely as if they haven't conducted a crime at all. All of the victims' families were surprised and hurt to see them walking in the streets. When Hussein and his cousin Haider were taken to the United States to testify in the trial, Haider said he was struck by how kind people were. He says he doesn't think the guards represent all Americans. This is Nasur Square now. For most people, American soldiers killing civilians at checkpoints and security contractors driving around with guns blazing is a distant memory. But the Blackwater killings here left a legacy that contributed to changing the course of Iraqi and American history. When it came time to negotiate an agreement to leave a limited number of U.S. soldiers here, anger over the killings played a large part in Iraqi lawmakers insisting the troops leave. As dangerous as Iraq has become, most Iraqis say they would rather take their chances than ever again allow foreign soldiers or security contractors to rule their streets. Jane Arath, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.